right, guys, we are back with another alkaline cooking video. Hello. I'm here with my husband tonight. We're good, peeps. It's his night to cook, but we're cooking together. Let me yes. fix this a little bit. All right, let's see. All right, so we tonight are going to make alkaline butternut, butternut squash savory fritters. Yes. Alkaline butternut squash savory fritters. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Or alkaline savory butternut squash fritters, however you want to call it. So we used um, a large butternut squash, maybe about eight inches long, but we didn't use the whole thing. We just used the bottom portion of it, and then we shredded it. That's what all this is. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to, with that. You're going to need one and a half red bell peppers, cho chopped into small pieces. One bunch of green onion chopped into small pieces Now, we're going to need um, a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, this onion powder, you guys, when they said onion powder, they were serious. Yes. We got this at an Oriental market. We thought it was just your average onion powder. No, this stuff is like... Pa flour powder. <laughs> <laughs> flour powder. Yes, it is. It feels like... Flour. Look at that. It, yeah, it feels like flour. Okay. All right, then we're going to need... This is optional. This is a quarter teaspoon. quarter teaspoon or fourth a teaspoon, whatever you want to call it, of um, cayenne. cayenne. Make sure we, we get all that out. One teaspoon of sea salt. Yep. Just speak mm -hmm. up a little bit more, babe. Okay. Here. We got yeah. a half a teaspoon of clove and half a teaspoon of allspice. There, there we you go. Are. Now we're going to mix, mix, it, in, it, mix all it all together in. and let it marinate. Yep. <clears throat> All right, that's all mixed in real nice. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yep. All right, so now we're going to make sure you get your pan going, too. We're using a cast iron pan, yes. and we got it heating up now. So yeah, get your pan, pan heating up. Now to this, we're going to add a half a cup at a time. Until we get our desired amount, and I'll let you know how much we ended up putting in. First... This uh, butternut squash looks to be about four cups, if that'll help you. Okay. All right. So that's a half a cup. I think we're going to need another half a cup. Go ahead. Okay, so. Put another half cup in? Yes. Oh, don't mind that wine. That's Roscoe over there. Yep. I Whenever guess, we're doing something and not paying him enough mind. I guess he wants to be in the video. Yeah. So that's a full cup now. Yep. Stir it in 
This should be about it, but I'll tell you in a minute. And then we're going to add some spring water to it. And we're going to need a fourth a cup because we're only going to add a fourth a cup at a time so that you can see how much we added. But since you most likely may not come up with the same amount of veggies as I do, you know, because squashes are different, whatever, you know, it's best you can eyeball it too. Um, so about a fourth a cup at a time. Here, just dump it in here. That's about a fourth cup. A little bit more. Two, two fourths cup. <laughs> you going? All right. That's two fourth cups of water. Two. One fourth cup of water. I just said it's two of them, not one. Okay. Yes, two fourth cups of water. My hubby's trying to mix us up. All right. That's our job. See, we usually eyeball everything, so now that's why we're a little confused as we get on camera, like, wait a minute, how much? All right, we're going to need another half a cup of garbanzo bean flour and I think more water. And a half a cup. So now we're at about four cups of butternut squash and one and a half cups of garbanzo bean flour. And we're gonna add more water. The first amount of water we added was two one-fourth cups. Another fourth cup. There's another one-fourth cup of water. That's looking better. I'm gonna have to try it. Make sure it's got enough seasoning. It's okay though. Just one more teaspoon, because this is going to make a lot. I made a lot more than I expected. Sorry, my light just went off on my camera. That's because it's overheating. I never realized the cell phones would do that until I started making videos with them. So now, remember to change that. It's two teaspoons if you do a big amount like this. Okay. Now we're going to make patties. Well, fritters. Oil your pan. Not too much, but oil it well. I'm going to take some of this squash here, hopefully you can see. I'm going to spoon it out. And just form like, you know, little fritters. Well, this one's a little bigger. Oh, well. Pat them down a little bit. Just be gentle with them. I know you're probably having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. But I'm limited on space and my lighting is not good today. Again, not even sure if this video will go up. I'll have to look at it when I'm done. I really hope so because I haven't put one up in a while. All right. We're going to let these cook. Um, they're over on this side a little bit too much. Let's see if I can move it. There we go. Try not to get them too close to the edges because... And it doesn't like to cook on that edge. All right. Let them cook for a while. You want to get a nice golden brown look like this. See how those look? Nice and golden brown. That's what you're looking for. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're going to flip these. Push them down just a little. Smash them a little. It, smash it down just a little. Don't kill it. Smash it down just a little. Let them cook. Alright guys, I got some more down here. They are cooking up. Let's see how they turned out. Alright, I'm going to let these cook and I'll be right back. Alright guys, sorry this video has been all over the place. I haven't recorded one in almost eight days and I don't know what happened if I forgot what the heck I'm doing in front of the camera or what but it's gotten a little crazy so I hope I can edit it enough to where the video is still decent but we are making something new tonight these butternut squash fritters you know I guess they are kind of savory but you know it's got that little hint of sweetness in the butternut squash and um, the allspice and clove just added the perfect touch. It's just a hint in the background. 
can taste it. But I think you'll really like it. If you guys have any recipe requests, you know, go ahead and let me know. We've had a couple, and I've been able to get up one. Um, pizza Pockets, somebody requested, so we did that. Somebody also requested garbanzo bean bread. Um, that I'm still working on. And garbanzo bean spring rolls. That I don't know if it can be done, because garbanzo bean flour, it can be rolled out, but then when you start rolling it up and, you know, putting a filling in it before you cook it, that's when problems start to happen. So I will see what I can do. But that's it. I, you know, I, um, I'd love to hear more recipe requests. I have some in the works. I just had to order a couple things, so I'm waiting. Have some good ideas coming up. I do have a gluten-free bread coming up for you guys. I'm just trying to get the last details of the recipe so it's perfect. And I need it to come out right every time. So, still working on that. All right, guys, I'm going to finish letting these cook, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm putting the very last ones on. Oil up the pan. These ones are a little bit smaller, but perfect for the little one. Remember if they fall out, just tuck them in. They'll stick together as long as you don't move them around while they're cooking. And let those last ones cook. While those are cooking. Again, I'll show you this is how they're looking so far. Hopefully we got enough light here. They got some nice orange color to them. They're going to taste really good. Alright guys, these are done. Finished them all. Now we're going to have a final plating for you when I come right back. I'm going to get these out of the pan. Alright, this and um, cover is done. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic on it. No, they, they don't need it. Okay, then they're done now. We got some fruit, some grapes, and some strawberries. Make sure your uh, grapes are seeded. Yes. All right. We like nice big piles. That's too much grapes, though. All right. There's a couple of fritters in there. This one's for the little one. The fritters? Yeah, we'll give him three little ones. There we go, guys. Boy, this is awfully dark. I am so sorry about the video being dark. Let's put this up a little bit. There we are. See how that turned out? All right, I'll get a photo for the thumbnail. All right, guys. See you next time.